We have to be the voice for our children. They don't have one anymore. You can't even protect them at school. Everybody's against you. I, you know, these kids are terrified. What a moment. It has been a long time coming, but it's very nice, I have to admit, to finally see a Trump supporter cross party lines, embrace common sense, bravely speak out about the need to address senseless gun violence, the epidemic of it that has been happening in our schools. I mean, she's spot on. Yes, children are terrified of school shootings, and it's refreshing to see. Wait, what? She's not talking about school shootings? Okay, continue the clip. They have more put into litter boxes in the bathrooms and everything else instead of like teaching our kids. We have no future without our children and we need to protect them. We need to protect them from litter boxes? Are they still seriously talking about this? How many times are they gonna make us debunk this litter box thing? My God, I'm turning into a cat because I'm... I, I'm, I'm scratching at my wit's end to debunk an obvious, not true rumor that you keep pushing. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. You can subscribe to my podcast Last Week on Earth if you like. I summarize the world each week. I don't usually get this exasperated, but this story is driving me bonkerific. Look at another clip. They think they're a cat. A cat. They put tails on and they demand that they have a litter box in the school. Obviously, it's very disruptive to the learning process. And now, into Republican stump speeches. It's seemingly the latest battle by conservatives in the culture war over gender identity. Every school district named by those 20 politicians said these assertions are untrue. This is about stirring up more panic and more fear. Even the trolling and mocking of this. Um, was a way to get the word out there about this lie. Exactly. It's yet another hate-fueled internet rumor aimed at demonizing non-binary kids and uh, some adults who might occasionally dress up as cats. Leave non-binary kids alone. Maybe you can throw a little shade towards adults who dress up like cats. Like Maybe they could get a job. But here's where they're partially right. There are sometimes litter boxes in some schools, just not for the reasons you think. Of all the schools called out for having kitty litter, NBC found only one that actually has it on campus in Jefferson County, home to Columbine High School. But the litter is part of an emergency supply kit in case students are stuck in a classroom too long during a school shooter situation. Not the reason politicians are sharing. Yes, the litter boxes that are in some schools aren't even there for the made up reason they say it is children who identify as cats which isn't a thing but not being a thing never gets in the way of republican ideology devastatingly it's a precautionary measure in case kids can't get to the bathroom because a school shooting is happening and so they have to go to the bathroom in a litter box that's the only time there's a litter box in a classroom this litter box nonsense is just a microcosm of maga's real problem and that's their unhealthy relationship with misinformation and oftentimes very intentional disinformation it's a little ironic the same crowd that championed doing their own research has completely lost the plot and because become the exact target audience for such easily spread through their own soft minds, misinformation and disinformation. Doesn't matter how often we shout from the rooftops that Haitian migrants are not eating the dogs and eating the cats. They're eating the pets of the people that live there. Or that the 2020 election was definitely not stolen from Donald Trump. If it doesn't align with their narrative, they won't accept it. And they'll just look at you in the eye and say you're fake news, even though you're really the news. You're the facts and they're making up complete facts, and they're telling you that your real facts are fake facts, and their fake facts are real facts. Just for kicks, here is a classic clip of a Trump supporter getting confronted on the misinformation they believed to be real. When they say, well, this is fact-checked, it's wrong because it's taken out of context. Like when Joe Biden fell asleep during a live interview on television. <laughs> he claimed that he fell asleep. I think that was an edited one, right? That was... I didn't think it was it looked pretty live to me with no cuts in it joining us live this morning from new york hey good morning wake up yes wake up wake up okay this is your wake up call Harry. is this the video that you're talking about could be yeah biden following should i watch it really quick well i mean I definitely wouldn't doubt that it would happen. Well, yes, you did disprove 
the thing I believe, but I'm not able to ever admit a mistake. I will just immediately shift to, well, it probably could happen, and I would believe that it would happen if it did happen. So I'm not going to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I'm just going to keep on believing my rigged version of the world, my fake imagination created version of the world because it makes it easier for me to sleep at night because I'm dumb. And that was me talking as them, not me as me, just for the record. What do you do when you have a populace that is so hell-bent on believing lies that even evidence does not convince them otherwise? We gotta figure that one out. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. You can subscribe to my podcast Last Week on Earth and follow me on Instagram at Ben Glebe for much more.